So I don't actively seek out secondhand, but sometimes it finds me. Uh, so I've gone and bought a collection of Lima O-Gage rolling stock. There's over 30 items, um, and they're off a time. I really like them, but maybe it's my childhood cutting in. Um, they're big, they're durable, they're really affordable. Um, they do have these big 1970s knuckle couplers, but they're a sturdy basis for some scratch building work. Um, so whether the couplers stay is down to the, the end user. Um, there's a basis there to fit uh, screw link couplings if you wish, you know, as a scratch building project. Um, maybe paint the interiors, maybe complete repaint, rebuild. I've seen all sorts of things done to these. There appears to be a guy in France who is fitting them out with fully etched interiors. It's a, a great basis for a nice hobby. Um, so those are the LMS liveried coaches. So they have the hint of the BR Mark 1. I'm not going to grumble. Um, there's lots of 16 ton mineral wagons in exciting liveries. Thankfully there's a few much more standard ones, uh, but there are a couple of vivid ones in there. So that one's, uh, you know, very passable for the 1970s. Um, this one, someone's either got to love it or repaint it. Um, yeah, not my decision. And then there's some big container wagons as well. But... Uh, yeah, they just they they cross my path. They're in really good condition. Um, there are a few little wear marks. You can see some scuffing on the corner there. And I think in the box, the box may have rubbed the paint a little bit. And I think that's the worst I've seen on them. There's a obviously a little scuff where I suspect it's derailed in the past. But uh, it really depends on what someone wants to use these for. They're, they're really nice and affordable. And if you're going the whole hog and super detailing and painting them, then these little marks won't matter. So here's a closer look at one of the 16 ton mineral wagons. From viewing distances, they're not bad. Not bad at all. They have some 1970s aspects, of course, the the couplings and the ABS plastic wheels. Um, but they're serviceable, and that's the important thing. And as a sort of entry into O-Gage, I don't think they're bad at all. <laughs>